What better way to clear it out than with a little bit of plutonium? Hello and welcome back everyone to the powder toy. It's been a while and we're here with a with a jet engine because because jet engines are are cool. Did you know that in a jet engine most of the air doesn't actually pass through the combustion chamber? Yeah, well we'll go well we'll skip over the you know the fun facts about jet engines. We'll get straight into just like throwing uranium and stuff into it. But first, first we have to power it up. Uh, let's just uh, power button. The, pre the pressure isn't very high. It's not doing well. Let's try fifty percent. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. That was pretty fast. Um, so we have our high high pressure section, which then has fuel injected, goes into the low pressure area, spins our beautiful turbines, which spin the big old fan, which pulls more air through, which makes the pressure go higher, which makes it go faster. And we, we have a beautiful, beautiful jet engine. We have fuel tanks here, which is where the fuel is actually coming from. We have our oxygen here, which is being used either to cool it down or to uh I'm, I'm actually i'm not 100 percent sure what the liquid oxygen here is for because in you know normal jet engine you're pulling the oxygen through the front the the big old fan in the front i think this is for cooling in like a uh if you said it's an overkill um i don't actually know what this 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 says for for sage for sage oh okay that i see that actually does the liquid oxygen and it basically injects it in to make the flame a lot more flamey. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> all right, 100% power. Now, the, the only issue with this uh, design is that it's all made out of diamond, which I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of because diamond in this game is perfect. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't ever get destroyed, although we do have thrust vectoring, which is really cool. We can angle up or down. Very, very cool. All right, so we have our beautiful jet engine here, and the only thing I don't like is that it's not actually pulling air through the front. I'm, I, I, I'm making, I'm making a decision here. We could just go with it. Th that would be the easy option. That would be the the normal people option. But I'm gonna build my own. <laughs> we're, we're gonna build a jet engine. And if you enjoy more than just virtual jet engines, go ahead and build your own with Sterling Kit. They keep sending me these awesome models to build and I'm having a ton of fun. This time they sent me a beautiful metal uh, turbo fan model and I had a great time putting it together. I'm gonna put a video out on it at some point, but they did send me the model for free to uh, show to you guys, but they're super high quality, made really well, high precision parts, and I think you'll enjoy it. So go check them out. And obviously links in the description. Um, I usually don't take sponsorships, but uh, it's just a cool product and it actually relates to the channel. So I have made an exception. This is going to be like the greatest thing that I've ever made in my life. Those of you who watch this channel are going to say, oh, so you're actually going to try a little bit? <laughs> Sometimes my creations don't come out looking the best. I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not very artistic. I'm tistic, but not artistic. There we go. Okay, so we got our, our outer area for the air to go through, then our inner area. The the sizing is not very realistic here, but we'll try, we're gonna try to make this realistic though. Okay, uh, let's look at the pressure display. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that looks that looks good. Okay, so let's let's put some uh, oxygen into it because like I said, I wanna I wanna actually, oh yeah. The only issue is it's not really getting sucked into the side chambers. It's all going through this much happier chamber. It's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna slice and dice, and uh, see if that helps. No, it really does not help. It doesn't look like it's the pressure that's the problem. It's really just that I'm I'm pulling this in like way too. This is also like the opposite of how it should look. Unfortunately, I, I think I think I've kind of messed this up. So we're gonna we're gonna redo this a little bit. Really, what I want to do is I want to be compressing it here. So like this, actually. There we go. <laughs> That's better. Uh, wow, Spike. So cool. Look at you making a cool thing. I have been informed that it is cringe when I speak and pretend to be the viewer, so I will continue to do it anyways. Because this is my channel, 
and you're gonna watch anyways because you want to see the beautiful Spike Viper uh, edition jet engine. Where okay, that, that actually does not look bad. Come on, come on, come on. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. A little bit of work, and I think we can get it looking real gravy. And I only say gravy because it's almost Thanksgiving. Absolutely based. Based on what? Based on physics. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I feel like this is gonna work much better. All right, ready? It's it's still just going through the center. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a fan up here. I'm gonna have to like vector it like way out in the other direction. It's okay. It's fine. This is this is a part of this is a part of building things. Is that sometimes it just does not go as you would expect it. Um, and actually, I can go a little bit more aggressive here too. Behold, the aggression of the Spike Viper. So incredibly aggressive. Doing that to try and that that really I I feel like that was terrible. That did not create the shape I wanted it to, but maybe. Tiny bit. T tiny bit. I'm trying really hard to do it, like, pretty. And by pretty, I mean, like, not freehanding it, because when I freehand things, they just come out awful. You know. You, you've you watched. You know. <laughs> you know. I also feel like this is, like, getting way too long. Don't, don't say it. Don't, don't say it. I will have, I will have zero quote tweets in, in the comments because this is not Twitter, so there are no quote tweets. Yes, it's going through now. It's not, I mean, it's mostly going through the center, which is not very realistic, but you know, at this point, do I really care so much? Maybe not, maybe not. Let's just, let's just get our clone. I mean, it's all gonna catch on fire anyways. Um, I'm probably gonna fail to actually separate the the stuff and it's it's gonna go wow that's not that's not nearly enough okay there we go that's better okay so we got we, we got we're compressing i want to be very very compressed so at the center here it is incredibly compressed now <laughs> it's being forced into this tiny tiny little space which is exactly what we want exactly what we want uh, and then we need to inject fuel into the center. So that's that's gonna be the fun part. Don't know whose job that's gonna be. Uh, probably my job. So let's go ahead and we're going to grab the clone again. Um, I'm going to create two little sections and I'm gonna try to carefully ensure that the flames and or other things do not escape this area and destroy everything. And then we are going to grab our oil and oil it up. Oil? Oil. The only issue is there's so much pressure and there's so much stuff in here <laughs> that it's not it's not really able to escape. Okay, there's there's a lot of oil actually being thrown into here. When we light this, it's going to it's gonna back propagate probably, but we're, we're gonna see what happens. Ready? We're gonna see what happens. Three, two, one, okay. Oh wow, okay, so the there is actually not enough stuff going through here now that I've done this. I went I went too far. How about now? How about now? Okay, wait! Wait, actually! It's doing a thing! And it's actually kinda doing it how I want it to! Yes! <laughs> okay, this is actually pretty good. This is pretty good. You may wonder why it's good. It's good because it's not Oh no! <laughs> it did it! It's exactly what I didn't want to happen. That is, that right there is precisely what I was trying to avoid. How to prevent, I mean, the easiest way to prevent that from happening is to just make the air go through it faster so that it, it can't escape. I'm, I'm gonna just get rid of this and see what happens. Okay, there we go. There we go. Very happy. Very happy. Very happy. This is supposed to be low pressure here anyway, so having the, the compressy thingies doesn't make much sense, does it? All right, so so we have we have kind of kind of built a, an actual jet engine here. We've got we've got the central combustion going on. We'd have the fan here pulling through, and as I said, a majority of the air passing through a jet engine does not actually go through the combustion area. It just goes over and under it, which helps to cool it down as well. We've got this made out of titanium, which which isn't super realistic. It would be like a nickel alloy, but this isn't getting hot enough anyways. 
for that to be a problem. But this is this is the powder toy, so I, I'm gonna have fun with this. <laughs> First, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna call this uh, uh, Jet Jet Boy 3000, and then we're going to uh, try various things. First, let's try dropping hydrogen into it. Make it a, make it burn a little hotter, okay? <laughs> Gonna make it burn just a tiny bit hotter. Um, oh no! It did a thing! Ah, terrible, terrible, terrible. Thankfully we saved it, so it's okay. Uh, let's get this hydrogen and see what happens if I just add a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. You can definitely see that the, the flame is now sparkly. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, that got a lot hotter. That got it up to a thousand degrees. Um, I feel like this needs a little bit more help expelling, so I'm just gonna put another fan here. Oh, that looks much better. I may actually save it like that. Okay, okay, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, uh, except I'm going to just have to take hydrogen and plop it in there and see how much it can handle. It's gonna form water now uh, when it runs. Water vapor is gonna be coming out of the back. Well, I guess combustion always creates water, but a lot more water. Um, this is creating insane amounts of heat. <laughs> insane amounts of heat in this combustion chamber. We're getting to 600 degrees in the actual, like, combustion combustion. We're hitting 1100 degrees. Not enough to melt the titanium, but close to enough to melt the titanium. Oh, except the chamber to the side here is getting some hydrogen sucked in, which is causing it to burn. It's not really what it's designed to do, but it's fine. Everything's okay. Don't worry about it. You worry too much. Uh, but it's fine. Nothing, nothing's going wrong. Uh, what if we, what if we throw some thermite in? I hate it when I'm flying and thermite gets into the engine. How close does it have to get to actually get sucked in? Oh, there we go. Uh, the only issue is that we have gravity enabled, which is actually causing problems. So we're just gonna turn off gravity. There we go. Okay, so we, we have thermite getting sucked through now. Um, sand in the real world is a problem. Not really, not really thermite. Uh, that's that's generally not going through the air. Um, general. Oh, yikes. Okay. Well, it actually it didn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Um, all right, so we've got this. Did it redo the, yeah, redo the gravity. Let's turn gravity off again. Let's check a couple of other things through. Let's try like sand. I, I feel like in this, it's not really gonna cause a problem because it's 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 just gonna pass through, but it may, it may gunk it up a little bit actually. And it is, it is actually gunking it up. Look at that. We're, we're gunking up our engine and um, it's definitely degrading the performance. Actually, it's heavily degrading the performance at this point. It's, it's so gunked up that the central combustion chamber is now completely without air. I mean, it clears itself out eventually, but still, still not good. We got a little bit that gets kind of blocked up here, which causes the entire thing to work less efficiently. But what better way to clear it out than with a little bit of plutonium? Plutonium's getting a little gunked up too. And stuck in there. The plutonium isn't actually in there long enough to do anything, and there's a lot of negative pressure here just because it's being pulled through so uh, violently. So I'm not sure if it'll actually do anything, but what if I just add a lot? Haha, <laughs> yes, I have filled your, your turbine with plutonium. No, it doesn't really make a make a difference. I, I didn't think it would. There's various kinds of explosives, though, that we could feed into it. I mean, gunpowder. <laughs> what happens if you put gunpowder into a jet engine, you may ask? The answer is it burns really hot. Not quite as hot as the hydrogen, though. Oh, okay. That was a bit of a big boom. Still, still didn't get quite as hot. This is about 300 degrees. I feel like I feel like fireworks will be uniquely damaging. Um, but if you ever want to make your plane look cool, I mean, th firing fireworks through the the engine is definitely a way to do it. I mean, look at that. Can you just imagine flying through the air and just leaving fireworks behind? So cool. 
Oh, except for the fa- Oh! 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 <laughs> okay, there is, there is no engine left. There is no engine left. <laughs> I bet you we could make, like, a, a nuclear jet engine that could handle the, the temperatures of plasma if we were very careful. Um, this one just ain't it, though. But thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Peace out.